very hot but also sweet. Welcome to the broadcast. My name is Jean Puria and this is Kibu TV. And my name is Kibu Nigeru Nibaranti. It's all about the culture of the world come to keep up with the device to the DJ Nibiru Masasana And the big topic today we're discussing about it. My concern when it comes to statistics on teenage pregnancies and also we have a vision really that a man of interest a role model discussion later on in the program and this is the Nisipara and I'm speaking about the business model. Let's get the news. Thanks. Kibabi University Career and Cultural Week in High Gear. University politics to start come much. And in education, we will tell you that how Kibabi University students are in helter skelter mode. Irony of education as graduates lack jobs. Liverpool, the new champions of Carabao Cup. Kibabi University has given an arena to post corporates coming from their first communities to showcase their cultural and practice of religion. Our very own Masi Sangoro Minor has to tell this one. Masi, if you can hear me. As you mentioned, Yere, we are like here at Kibabi University where the cultural activities of the year 2024 are going on. This event started.
leading names in their books as our reporter Afrida tells the story. They always say the preparation for the journey of tomorrow begins today. And here in Kibabi University, the journey of every student towards success begins at the entrance of the institution. Uh, this being the second semester of the academic year 2024, the educational system inside the institutional still remains the key priority when it comes to learning. Uh, this is evident in the cooperation of the students and the lecturers during classes. Not only collaboration is said to bring students and their lecturers together, but also during tests, also known as cards. The cards are either done online or in physical settings inside the institutional. Apart from the cards which are attempted at the end of every unit covered, exams are also done under the strict supervision of lecturers and the CCTV's cameras at large. This, this is because the institutional observes zero tolerance when it comes to any examination, mild practice, and as the students are preparing for the exam schedule to begin on April, they have been ensured to clear their fee payment on time and make proper use of the library for revision material. Reporting for Kibu TV, my name is Frida Bahati. World of education. In most countries, they believe that education is an eye opener and a key to the possibility. However, the irony is after the jubilations of the graduates who graduated, they are now stranded with no job, as our own reporter Banis and Adem gives detailed information. Education is the key to success, and many believe through it that they light to the end of that tunnel. And over the years, education has been linked to success, but with more
places in different universities around the country. The remaining population of 2,137 candidates who scored a million of C plus and below and their places in different DTCs, KMTC, and Open Universities of Kenya. The Kenya University and College Center of Placement Services Institute has been opened, and those who need their ACS exam in the year 2003 are advised to apply for their various courses. Those who need their ACS exams in the years 2000 and 2022 are also advised to apply for their various courses. Many candidates are now going through mental torture, frustration, and anger as they try to apply for the courses of their interest, but cluster points do not allow them. Some are even giving up with higher learning education. The government funding model this year has also changed under the model. Those who fall under vulnerable and extremely needy students will be getting 100% funding, and those who are deemed to be needy students will be getting 93% funding as they pay 70% tuition money. And we'll keep it TV. Keep up. But don't touch the dial once you back, it's going to bring statistics on teenage pregnancy and all on mental health. It's another a new beginning. You know what? This is the 2024. The question that we're asking you today is down there, but now just imagine Kenya being ranked third worldwide on matters teenage pregnancies. What does this mean, Jen? Who is responsible for this? That's the question we start first asking ourselves. And all the facts that based on the Ministry of Health. Now, some facts here, we can just have a look at the year 2017. The total number of pregnancies that were recorded in that year were 317,000. But out of this, 67,000 were teenage pregnancies. Well, by this means, five ladies of the same age of 15 to 19 years are mothers. All right, and this one, as the numbers are being increased from one to the next, then it means that there is a major public health threat. What is that all about? HIV and AIDS. The number of counties that are having the same number of adolescents having pregnancy in nine, we have in Nairobi, Kajiado, Homa Bay, Meru, Kericho, Naro, Kisi, Mandera, Bomet, having the same percentage. And that's a high number rate. Now, moving on maybe to Sam. Do you want to tell me that what are these causes? What are these causes of all this? One of them is unprotected sex. Moving on to poverty, which is mainly the one. And lack of civic education and work opportunities. But Jen, do you want to tell me that we don't have a solution when it comes to these matters? Definitely, there's a remedy. That's where the Minister of Health is coming in with the help of National AIDS Control Council that has launched a campaign countrywide that and the triple threat. And I believe that even the university part in the previous one, they will come to war AIDS. Now, having a look at the numbers that are being increased from on daily basis, now, the problem that we cause with this, and today we have a focus on mental health issues, where our reporter Sharon Kdolo is joining us with a mental health survivor sharing on the goals and the what not to consider when it comes to matters. Uh, Sharon, if you can get us. Thank you so much, Sherry and Jen and the studio. Um, Let's 
they made the a cause of my event to help me start the scrutiny at some point. You find that in this institution there is zero fee balance. And at the end of the semester, I found myself with huge balance. That is a very, very huge problem to my mentor. Thank you so much, uh, Wayne, for that information. And moving forward, cases about the same have not only been reported here at Kibabi University, but also in other different universities. Different measures have been put in place, and for instance, here at Kibabi University, the Student Affairs Department has put in place organizations and units that are going to help very many students and those ones who need learning and counseling. Reporting for Kibu TV, Thank you, Sharon Bidoro, for that report. And we always say that a problem shared is household. And moving on to the world of business, the fluctuation of the US dollar has brought mixed reaction among the business people. Whereby the also the university, university students have said that it has caused a pinch on their personal and also academic life, as our own as our own guard will be their reports. The US dollar took an extreme drop as reported on Thursday of 15 February. The Central Bank of Kenya recorded an exchange rate of 144 Kenya shillings per 1 USD. University students have felt the beach both in their personal and academic life as this has affected the international transaction only, affecting the online business and online purchasing of academic materials. More so, the financial experts say that this volatility in Kenya is not good for business as this affects the pricing of commodities and business contracts. Gad Wille, Professor Wille Gad, business reporter, Kibu TV. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Wille Gad, as you have mentioned earlier. Uh, we don't believe that the economy will be stabilized. The controversial housing levy has caused mixed reaction among Kenyans in an interview with Extra Mature. Vincent Aswanchi expressed his feelings, noting that the approach towards housing levy is unconstitutional, as our very own Wendy Kidaman tells the story. The event of housing levy has been a major issue here in Kenya. Despite the court's ruling, President William Muta has said affordable housing is here to stay. The aim of the Kenya Kwanza government is to provide job opportunities for youth here in Kenya. The National Assembly has passed a bill in long run with 151 members. Few years after the passage of the bill, Senator of the Board, Senator Okay, has criticized the Kenya Kwanza members of parliament for betraying the Kenya citizens by passing the bill. He have called the senators to fill the bill in the Senate. Reporting for Kim TV, I'm Wendy Kiriamana. Thank you, Wendy Kiriamana, for that report. And moving on to the world of entertainment, Kibabi University will be having their Mr. Kibu, Miss Kibu, Miss Kabi, and also Mr. Flex of the Year today as our own entertainment reporter, Olela Hill, gives more details. Modeling has always been the epitome of the cultural week in Kibabi University. This is where my beauty pageants are crowned after they have showcased in the stage. According to statistics, it has shown that the contestants have come out in large numbers to showcase their talents and passion in the modeling industry. During the cultural week, they embraced different attire, such as the African attire, the vintage wear, the school wear, and professional wear. Since fashion is artistically designed to express the boldness of beauty, reporting for Kibo TV, I'm Eve Blessing. Thank you very much, Eve Blessing. And when I was in Kibabi University, we used to have such celebration. Right now, my director is informing us that we have a developing stories on matters, demolitions. That is in Kandulis County, Rugova County. Uh, Sheba, if you can hear me. Yes, we are here. Kindly update us on what is developing and the reaction to it comes to the residents in Rugova County. Back to the studio. In preparation for the African Cup of Nations in Kenya, come 2027, the county government of Bungoma has decided to demolish all the buildings across the Bungoma study. This directive was to ensure that there is room created for expansion of the available stadium. Speaking to a CK, who is one of the residents and one of the business persons in the area, is expressing the total frustration he has incurred since his business has been demolished down. Also, the county government of Bungoma has decided to fully comp 
and set the affected individuals. Reporting for Kibu, I'm Omoyo Veronica. Thank you, Omoyo Veronica, for that report. Moving on to the world the world of politics still but in the country, the death of Kelvin Kiptul, the world marathon recorder, hold a help leads on my range of question after the government offered to build a house for his family. Kenyans had mixed reaction, raising concern on this irony as our reporter Rebecca Odoni narrates. An atmosphere of mixed reaction has been seen all over the internet concerning the issue of Kiptul. another a new beginning you know what this is the 2024 Welcome back to the broadcast. It's all about the end of an era. Remember that earlier on, I have promised you that we'll be having a guest, and already he is in, ready for that conversation. This is end of an era for Barack Adenson, who is the president, has been the president for Babi University, leading students, and has done a lot and getting much on that. And now, maybe we begin, Dennis Baraka. What have you done to comrades now that you only have one week before you exit office and you can sit somewhere and say, for sure, I have done a BC and <laughs> Now, 
tumekati na tukakubaliana na tumetenga budget fulani kiambo fulani before tutoke tutaanisha kwamba class of support na nasema wote take this to the bank wote awe nani awe nani kwa sababu wote tunaenda kukava mambo yao kila mtu atenda nyumbani kifurahia shukran sana let's be next and we want to show you now this is the end of our era good luck and we wish you all the best sante
to improve the plane service of the ground to meet the current standards uh, in order to hold this year turn tournament uh, and the 2027 half point. And we'll be talking as we dedicate an athletic team to Japan, where they will be competing for Tokyo Marathon on that this month. Uh, it very well has promised to do his best in that marathon, uh, saying that uh, it will be a honor for the resting uh, world champion record holder, Yelpe Keton. Moving to the English Premier League is that uh, Manchester United failed to hold their unbeaten record in seven consecutive matches the last Saturday, where the United States minute goal of Alex Iwobi gave a full half of a win of 2-1 at home in Toronto. Other result is that uh, Manchester City have had a goal of one goal, where Newcastle won Hamada for one with the Arsenal. On Sunday, on Wembley Stadium, there was a Carabao Cup of Finals where the net draw of Fahim Van Dijk gave Liverpool the win of 1-0 against Chelsea, making them to be the champions champion of our Carabao Cup this year. And on the, uh, on the FA Cup of uh, Manchester playing in the middle of this wave uh, is that uh, Manchester City Hamada Nutu Tornas 62, Manchester United Hamada Nottingham Forest 1-0. Chelsea Hamada leads it 3 2, where the US teams are qualified to play for the fourth round or quarter finals of FA Cup finals. Reporting for Kibu TV directly from Women Play Stadium, I'm winning still quarter Papua Ida. Thank you, Richard Ida, for the report, and of course, the report from Richard Ida brings us to the end of the broadcast this evening. To esteemed viewers, I want to say thank you for always choosing and watching Kibu TV. To everyone who's involved in production of this broadcast, from our reporters to you, to a technical team headed by Michael Mireri, Dennis Gambo and Robert Michoma, I want to say thank you. And of course, this being my last bulletin here at Kibu TV, I want to thank everyone for the love and support that you showed me for the four years that I've been around you. As I live, I live in the same hands of Jen Kuria, Samson Kazua, Augustine Kassila, and Tartan as a club. As for me, Let's meet for us at the NTV's crime and investigation team as a TV in Tanzania for a future international correspondent for CNN. As a Tyson side visit, culture is your brand. Be proud of your brand and market your brand. From our sports to you, we wish you a happy culture week 2024. My name is John Tata. Back to you, Gideon. Thank you everyone who made this humble beginning of the broadcast to be a mission for the impossibilities. I'll be your news anchor, Jane Kuria. And my name is Gideon Ian, but before we leave the studio, I'm being informed here. We have our, one of our followers here, DK Presenter, who is a student at Kibab University, saying, Johan Matata, why can't you? From the first board when it comes to us. Well, uh, I'm a pride, uh, proud Taita, and uh, what I can say is that uh, culture, because culture is what identifies you, culture is your identity, be proud of your culture, market your culture, and make people feel that your culture is the best, more than theirs. Amazing. Jen do you have a culture? Definitely, yeah, I culture, because with the equalization of everything else, the only brand that makes you unique is your culture. Amazing, that's beautiful voices from our news and Kazia. And on that note, that's where we say that for more comprehensive stories, just visit our social media platforms at Kibu TV. And in our subsequent bulletins, always keep it Kibu TV. My name is Kibu TV. This is Kibu TV. It's another a new beginning. You know what? This is the 2024.